Hello everyone I hope you all are doing well and welcome to another fantasy match preview this is for the second main game between England and Afghanistan and I have Nikhil bhai with me to throw light on this specific game that is going to be upcoming at Perth how are you doing Nikhil bhai and tell us your thoughts on this specific game Yes I think it's going to be fast and furious it's going to be at the Optus stadium cannot wait to see how Mark Wood does first the hmm. favorite hai toh thoda bias ho raha hai but uh, i think it's going to be very exciting to see how england shape up a lot hmm. of the talk has been about the option that they have with bat and ball but now is when you have to you don't want to slip up uh, they right. say after world cup where it's not been it's not gone by the book so hmm. I, i don't think it will stop the surprises will keep coming so hmm. hopefully they also come from afghanistan side let's see Yes absolutely and on that note we'll first up start with our pitch conditions for this specific game also keep in mind that for any of you who are confused we're going to be doing the jersey guinea in the first of every game so go ahead and watch that previous preview and answer that question and you're eligible only if you hit the like button so remember to do that so let's look at our pitch conditions for this game So these are our pitch conditions here we are at the Optus Stadium Perth where we have one side which is pretty short and the other side becomes proportionately longer now nikhil bhai do you think that th- these will be the exact dimensions or they might be a pitch here here or there either side and that could happen but i think generally uh-huh. it this will still remain the periphery and it is hmm. slightly bigger ground so uh, apart from that one short side so runs will be more in ones and twos as compared to big sixes so hmm. and both these teams actually like to hit big which is going to test them a lot and uh, of course the same will respect the bowlers power. happy <laughs> i i'm not i didn't say that uh, but uh, yes the point is here teams do win batting first purely hmm. because of the ground conditions that okay it's a big ground you got a good score batting first you can do your job what bothers people is the pace and bounce which i'm hmm. sure will do in this very venue as well but i want to see how afghanistan bowl on this on such surfaces because england also they don't have anyone apart from mark wood that is express pace pace hmm. so uh, very keen to see how afghanistan counter that threat right and do you see timal mills coming in because he is a perth homeboy plus he is the kind of bowler who also has the pace here uh had he been in for a while i would have said that maybe he'll play but hmm. i don't think he'll directly come in and uh, you know start playing he has decent record in australia 18 wickets in 13 games uh, so it's not too bad but hmm. i just don't know how match ready he is because again he's coming in as a replacement right fair call so let's look at the base team that we have set up for this game for you and before we have the base team keep in mind that you join the main leaderboard contest that is set for you on the fan to play app with these top prizes like you can see here so ensure that you join this leaderboard because this chance is not going to come again bilkul aur gaadi bula rahi hai bhai there is no better chance no better tournament to take it home uh, than this one ab tak humne dekha hai kaise uh, multiple combination with safe base team is also working so continue to do that make multiple combinations go with your gut feel based on whatever you hear here and then yes jai mata de it is yes absolutely and let's look at the base team then for this specific game so we have set up a 10 player base team and the two keepers we have gone with jos butler and gurbaz and two batters alex hills and liam livingston who can also turn his arm over any temptations from these two sections nikhil bhai on any other player that you'd like to take I think uh, the the challenge here will be to take the right Afghan players. Uh, not hmm. to say that they will lose, but you want to take the impact guys. Uh, I think hmm. Gurbaz is one. I don't think there's a doubt over Butler and Hills. Uh, they should both love these conditions. But hmm. if Afghanistan bowl Fazal Akmal up top, then I have a bias to take him and not take any of the England top three. But that's for a grand league and not for a small league. Uh, Livingston can be one drop if you hmm. feel that he's not quite he hasn't had enough game 
and you feel like okay he could be off guard you could slot in david malan there and just have the entire top order there but again as you see the entire team we've taken mujib as well so we are mm-hmm. expecting mujib to be that trouble uh, for david up top yeah. if not him as i said if they are bowling first and you feel living limson will bowl and give you those mm-hmm. handy wicket points so that's a call you have to take between a wicket or a 25 30 runs for david malan so that is something that you can balance out on uh, for afghanistan there are a few grand league choices here i would love to see ibrahim zadran have a good go uh, hmm. if he takes a good game he is somebody who should steady this uh, innings but afghanistan are known to play around with their batting so again it's the first game so just be sure of that spot and then then, then of course we can change around yes absolutely and two other things that you can watch out for here are gurbaz and how he tackles pace and bounce because he already got a shocker in that practice match against shahin so that would play on his mind so maybe the pace and bounce can trouble him a bit so if you want to go safer and take another afghanistan bowler or all rounder you can do that and second thing is leave livingston again his home ground as he's first scorcher boy and keep in mind that he also has a great match up numbers against rashid so if you have any slightest indication that he's going to bowl a bit and is proper match fit then he's grandly captaincy material too yes but then that has to happen when england bat first and you have to be yeah, very sure when england bat first uh, yeah. okay the chase kare to livingston ka impact kitna hoga wo we do not know so hmm. okay make that call very astute because agar spin assist nahi kar raha hai off the spin to shayad livingston itna bowling na kare and that uh, the pace and hmm. they have plenty of pacers in them so they could use anybody anywhere yes absolutely and talking about the pacers here we go towards the all rounders and bowlers ben stokes and mohammad nabi in the all rounders for us mohammad nabi also showed some really good form in the practice games with the bat yeah. so that's a good sign for us him and afghanistan and then the four bowlers that we have gone with mark wood and adil rashid both will be a handful as well as mujibur rahman and rashid khan so we have left one slot here nikhil bhai who do you see in that 11 slot is it going to be an england pacer or do you want extra batting ammunition so uh, i'll be very honest i'm tossed up between ben stokes and sam curran to be very honest uh, i think the answer is simple in my mind uh, but i think we'll obviously need to see that once we see the conditions because Hmm. I don't see Stokes being used as well as the, he should be, uh, but hmm. if if the batting order suggests that he may bat up, then I think Stokes makes for a much better option. But then Sam is bowled well in the end overs consistently, so hmm. uh, that is a call that you can take. That if England are bowling first, maybe you can take both Ben and Sam and drop Adil Rashid because you hmm. also obviously have Mark Wood. So there you will have at least ten to twelve overs of the bowling sorted. But if you feel that no, maybe Sam may not do much, uh, and England, uh, Afghanistan will play him out, then you can drop and not take Sam. Najibullah Zadran is somebody that I'm very inclined to take. Uh, I always take him when Afghanistan bat first. It's like a blind rule, but mm. he has his issues with leg spin matchup, and the ground is big. So that is my only slight toss up here. But yeah, it's probably going to be Sam Curran, but. I could easily drop one of Arashid or somebody else for Najib. <laughs> right. So for now, we have gone with Sam Curran to ensure that we have all-rounder and batting ammunition along with bowling. One glaring thing that we see with the England lineup is not really someone who is known to bowl at the death because Sam also in his domestic circuit is known to bowl up top with uh, Tom taking more of the death bowling responsibility. and same with mark wood as he bowls more at the start and the middle so how do you see them tackling those death overs especially because like you mentioned najib will be a top option for you and he will also most likely be batting at the death yeah i think jordan might do the job uh, to begin with and then maybe temal comes in to bowl in the end overs because hmm. even for the over invincibles i think sam used to bowl the third last set not always yeah. the second last and the last so maybe hmm. that is a consideration but in the pakistan series he was bowling in the end overs so hmm. this is why i said i'll probably stick to sam no matter which innings it is but uh, yeah could i think jordan could do the job so you could possibly drop rashid if you feel that optus mate na use nahi hoga but hmm. that is the thing with adil rashid you know when you feel he'll not do something he'll take a three for and afghanistan are known to be very 
proper Jai Mata, they like, okay, we want to hit Rashid, and they could end up giving him a 4 for as well. Because right. they'll try to target him quite a bit. Exactly. So hmm. that could also work out. So, which is why I said the role of Ben Stokes is very important. Because he is either that two overs and a 25 run guy, or hmm. he's not going to bowl and be wasted down the order. So that is a call that you have to take to fix the combination because apart from these guys in from Afghanistan, I don't think anybody else you are going to take apart from Mujib and Rashid. Maybe mm-hmm. you could take Nabin if he plays or you would want to take Fazalak if he plays. So, wo ek solution bhi aapko mil once you obviously see the uh, eleven. Yes, absolutely. And on to captaincy and vice captaincy. So, are we going totally left field and taking Mark Wood as captain? Because that also, along with being left field, looks like a logical decision because we are both. Yeah, it is pretty much possible. Uh, I don't think that it's a doubt. You could always take Mark Wood. No better stadium in the world than to do that at the office. But uh, again, I'm very tempted to stick to Rashid as well. So, hmm. probably Mark would if he's bowling first. Yeah, bowling second maybe I think Mark would remains a good option. Hmm. Uh, I'll be tempted to take one of Rashid or Nabi because I'm expecting them to score those handy runs and possibly hmm. give me one wicket. So, either you do that or you go good and Butler. I think most common will be Mark Wood and yeah, Josh right. Butler. That, uh, okay, a bowler and an opener. And uh, otherwise, people may come with Sam Curran and Mark Wood or Sam and Josh Butler. So, he common possible only but if you're seeing a win for Afghanistan then hmm. one of Rashid or Mujib has to do a lot yes absolutely correct and like you can see the leaderboard contest is open here and you can join with 20 percent bonus cash the app link is in the description so go do that right away and uh, in case your heart is not full with one leaderboard I have another leaderboard to share with you, which is only for the people who sign up from this link in the description. So the competition becomes slightly lesser and makes your life slightly easier. Here you can see you can win the speaker, a smart speaker. And all you need to do is join as many contests as you can and win more and also win this smart speaker. So it's a win-win-win on all sides for you. Completely. No better time to make the most of all that you have heard so far yes with all with all the rotations and options that we've given you i think this is the best chance for you to also make multiple teams and try and yes. crack that leaderboard and just if we have any option left yet we have the grand league options where nikhil bhai will tell you his one crazy pick who is going to take in 20 out of 20 teams so let's hear it <laughs> I think we've we've already discussed. Yeah, I think we've already discussed that name, uh, and uh, I'm very interested in how Fazalat Faruqi goes. Uh, hmm. He's taken 22 in 20 in this year, I think, in 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 T20s. Uh, so, if he plays, he's starting bowling. I'm very tempted to take him. Uh, remember, it's a day game. Uh, no, I don't think it's a day game. Sorry, it's the next no, game. Nice. Yeah. First bowling yeah. may. Also, he could do or he could really come good uh, with underlines. Uh-huh. So, there is enough potential there. Just pray. But if you have a captain, you have to pray. Then you have to make your choices accordingly. Yes. So, balance your prayers too. My yeah. Grand League option for this game, if England bat first, is going to be Moin Ali. And if England bowl first, is going to be Reese Topley. So these are the two picks who I feel can do this. No, I I am saying this for the positions where you have to play from down. Jape Apka reverse leader board. But yes, Moin Ali is my pick for this specific game. And I had another left arm pacer in mind. I guess I'm sorry, it's not Reese Topley, it's Timal Mills. Sorry. Yeah, Timal Mills, obviously, if he plays. Uh, you see why he tops so many games. He's telling you something, doing something else. No, I, I had the left arm facer in mind, so I misconstrued the name. Not not wrong. Yes. Too many of them. Too many of them. I think. Yes, and too many with. Uh, now we have the left arm facer that you discussed too, so exactly. makes it a little more confusing. No, it's not. But it's a little bit of a 
ठीक है सो वी होप यू एंजॉयड दिस स्पेसिफिक रिव्यू लॉट ऑफ इनसाइट टू शेयर विथ यू एंड वी होप दैट यू हैव अ ग्रेट फर्स्ट डे ऑफ द लीडर बोर्ड ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट इफ यू आर प्लेइंग स्मॉल लीग्स देन वी होप दैट इट वर्क्स आउट वेल फॉर यू बिकॉज़ यू हैव दैट बैलेंस एंड सेट ऑफ ऑप्शंस वेयर यू कैन टेक सम डिफरेंशियल रिस्क समथिंग दैट हैज बीन अ प्रॉब्लम अक्रॉस द फर्स्ट स्टेज बट वी एक्सपेक्ट दैट विद द क्वालिटी ऑफ द गेम्स गोइंग वन नॉच अप you will probably be able to inculcate those differentials in your team too and talk those grand leagues too so we hope you all enjoyed this preview and thank you so much for tuning in yes thank you so much have a great game